Hi everyone and welcome to the video. So today I'm going to show you all of the things that we've bought for the arrival of baby number two. My name's Alex if you're new here and I'm a mum of a two-year-old son and we're expecting our second son in a few weeks time. So we finally I think got everything that we need and I thought it just might be interesting to show you the things that we particularly have had to buy this time um, that we didn't have last time. So let me just go ahead and get into it in no particular order. Okay, so this is something we did have last time. So we'll get that out of the way first. This is just a baby book to record our first year milestones of baby's life. This one is Write to Me by Write to Me. It's got a nice linen cover and it just walks you through like month by one month by month milestones and uh, the next thing that we bought is an extra camera to go with the monitor that we already have for Jed so we have the Oricom CU710 and this is just a second camera so it'll be the same unit and we'll be able to see in Jed's room and in new baby baby's room or our room as well clothes wise for this baby we haven't bought a lot um jed what is a february baby and this one will be a june baby so summer and winter but where we're now living is a lot warmer in winter so we haven't bought a lot because we don't know what we'll need like didn't want to go full all out buying complete winter gear but i have bought a couple of little cute things like um these tiny little tracksuit pants which are four zero like the cutest tracksuit pants you've ever seen so just a, a couple of sets of track type things um i got this little onesie not because we need onesies but i just like the color and the colors that are in at the moment all the like taup and mustard and rusts and powdery blues are so nice this little one i bought um i think four bonds zippies in the smallest size so it took us a few months to actually start using the bonds wonder suit zippies we had a lot of the snap ones to start these ones are zippers and makes life so much easier with changing especially in, if you're changing in the middle of the night the hands come with the fold over mittens which are good because babies scratch themselves a lot at the beginning with their little nails and the feet come with the fold over feet for warmth as well this oh, this brand which is booty baby and they make these bamboo onesies a friend gave me this brand for jed and these are like the most softest beautiful onesies and they just feel so nice for snuggles so i sort of just treated ourselves to one of those um for a new baby as well okay let's look at some actual gear that we've bought this little guy is a bath thermometer it um, is a digital thermometer babies apparently like to bath at wait is it 27 or 37 i should really check that i'll check it and write it below but the first few baths that we gave jed at home he screamed and then as soon as we got a, a thermometer and set it to the temperature that they like he loved his baths so we're just starting off with one of these these will last i don't know a, f a few months or more before the battery kinds of runs out and then it's more economical to just buy another one but we have one of these from the get-go this one is available from big w if you're in australia the next thing i bought was some nipple shields which i covered in my video about what's in my hospital bag so this is just in case baby has trouble latching with breastfeeding i used these at the beginning with jed for the first few weeks but I didn't know about them until about day five or six of his life. So I've just prepared and bought these so I can use them from the start if I need them. I did try a couple of brands and this is the one that I liked the most. 
We've also stocked up on some new dummies for new baby and I don't have them to show you but I also bought some um, bottle pigeon bottle teats for new baby. We started Jed on a bottle in the first week just we wanted to introduce him really early so that he always sort of was comfortable with the bottle and that worked really well for us. I do have a few mum friends who try to introduce the bottle after a few months and their baby sort of didn't take to it um not saying that happens with all babies but i'm pretty confident with the fact that we introduced it at the beginning and i think that helped us so yeah just to have those ready to go i think it's also good because if you have a uh, any issues with breast feeding at the beginning um, you kind of want to be prepared with with your bottles from the get-go so that you don't have to be like running to the shops to get that kind of thing the next thing I'm prepared with this time that we weren't last time is some formula so we weren't intending on using formula with Jed but in the first week we had to a couple of times because my milk supply was slow to come in um, so this time I've just got this um box with three sachets of formula yeah lindsay had to run to the shops to get this at the beginning of jet's life and just to avoid any stress like that let's just have these available meet benji this is going to be um ellie's little friend for those of you who are familiar with my videos and with jed you will know that he has a little cuddly like this called ellie who he absolutely loves so what i did with ellie um i think we introduced this to jed fairly early on in the piece um I did actually try a riffraff, which is the ones that play the noises, and I didn't like it. I just found like it was too heavy and clunky, and I didn't like the idea of them being able to press the music themselves, and I, don't, I just didn't really like it. So I got these simple cuddlies, um, and I would tuck it into Jed's neck on his in his sleeps when he was fully swaddled at the beginning, and then eventually it's just become a lovely little comforter for him. And what I did when he eventually was um, arms out of his swaddles is to attach a loop um, so that I could hook, so that I could, sorry, a Velcro loop that I could then put his dummy on so that if he lost his dummy in the middle of the night, he could easily find um, his comforter and replace his dummy. I know that you can get certain brands that have that attached anyway. Wobbanubs is one that I've heard, but I just DIY'd mine. So, and definitely you need two so that when you need to wash one, you've got a spare. And of course, if you accidentally lose one, you don't want that to happen. Okay, so the next thing that we had to buy is another shade for our car. This brand is called Outlook. Outlook auto shade and it just goes across the top of your window and basically covers the whole thing in the beginning we had one of those ones that stick on with a suction cap and they're sort of this big we found that that suction cap kept coming off and also the sunlight would still be poking around the edges and sort of hitting jet in the eyes so we ended up getting this brand we've had this been using this on the car for uh, ages now it'll be an, a year and a half at least and it's still going strong so I recommend that one okay so the next item we have is this white noise machine this brand is by skip hop um, we are still using a white noise machine in Jed's room this one this exact one in fact so now we've got two for the first couple of months or more with Jed, we were using our phones or iPad to find white noise to play, but you know, thinking that it was more economical, but honestly, it just ended up easier having one already in there. And you know, I don't really want like Wi-Fi streaming near my baby's head or anything like that. So 
This brand is awesome. It has a nightlight, not that we've ever used a nightlight, but it has a few nature sounds and just standard white noise. This one is kind of expensive. It was $60, um, but worth it for good sleeps. Next on the list is this cute little thing, which is a wool nappy cover by the brand Baby Beehives. Um, it took us a good six months at least, I would say, maybe even more to learn about this thing. And I wish we had known about it sooner. So I have actually made a whole video about wool nappy covers, which I'll link. When you put the baby to bed at night, you put this little thing over the top of their nappy. And what the wool does is it, um, wool wicks away and absorbs moisture and it neutralizes any odor. Last time we were changing Jed a lot through the night and we just wanted to avoid having to do that. So very happy with this. It's not cheap. It's about $50, but we still have Jed's next size up one that we'll be able to use for baby number two. And um, yeah, I just, I really, really love these. Next on the list, we have a swaddle. So these are ready-made swaddles as opposed to the blankets or sheets that you actually wrap the baby up in yourself. Ready-made swaddles, life-changing, um, especially in the middle of the night when your baby is upset and you're trying to re-wrap it. Soon enough, babies start to like wrestle out of those wraps anyway. So these ready-made ones are awesome. We'll probably still swaddle um, the old-fashioned way for the first two, three weeks just because it is extra snug. But um, yeah, as soon as he can fit into this and it is super snug, then we'll be switching to the ready-made swaddles. Um, this brand is Ergo Pouch. Um, my favorite brand is Ergo Pouch. All their sleeping bags and swaddles come with a thermometer guide which tells you what the temperature in the room is and then what type of bag and what type of clothes you need to put your baby in. Okay, the next, whew, the next thing I bought is a wrap. I did have a wrap for Jed but I struggled always struggled to get the tension right it was either too tight or too loose and Jed didn't seem to like it maybe I didn't use it soon enough or get him used to it but I really wanted to give a wrap another go especially with this baby because I feel like um, it will be beneficial to be able to wear him while Jed while I'm having to like do things around the house and also um, pay attention to Jed. So what I ended up doing is going with this brand, it's called Connie. And if you're familiar with standard wraps, they actually just look like a big long sheet and you, you wrap them around yourself. Um, this one is a ready-made wrap, so you don't have to uh, figure out how to do that yourself. So. Let me see if I can remember how to do this because I haven't actually, I'll give you a little demo. Let's see if I can do it. I think, okay, this bit goes over your head and then, so the label to the back and then your head through there and then you, I have to make sure it's not all twisted. You pull the back bit down as far as it will go. Whoops. And then you pull these shoulder bits across so that it looks like you're wearing a sash. And then let me just find something to demo with. Okay, so this is a Shelly. Shelly's going to demonstrate for us today. So Shelly just goes in here and you spread this out. Shelly sits in there. This goes under her bum and 
then this goes over there like that and she can have a little snug nap just like that it's probably sitting a bit too high on me at the moment because of my bump uh the connie also comes with this extra piece that you can like wrap around here for sort of extra snugness and i think i need to watch some tutorials but i think that when they're i think you can also wear them with like their legs out like this but anyway that that feels quite comfortable and this is a the summer mesh weight just because we are in a bit more of a warm climate so yes i'm i'm pretty excited to use that it seems a little bit easier so we'll see how it goes all right so the next new purchase that we made was a um baby carrier this is the ergo 360 mesh something like that they have lots of different names but anyway this one it, um comes highly recommended i did this color wouldn't have been my first choice but these are usually 300 dollars, and this one was half price at this beautiful color so we went with that we had a tool art carrier for jed but i didn't love where his legs came out on it it seemed like the fabric didn't have enough padding on there and i just feel a bit more comfortable with this one so um we're going to give that one a go and hopefully it works a bit better for us the biggest purchase that we've had to buy for new baby's arrival is the pram we have been using a um what's it called valco valco snap hang on valco baby snap ultra tailor made for jed for since the beginning and love that pram can't fault it uh i did a review on it if you're interested i'll i'll link it up here so for the second baby we pretty much just asked some friends mother's group friends for reviews on the same brand in their side by side um gets good reviews as well so we went with that same one um i think i'll insert a clip here of us putting it together with jed building your new pram hey you got it in well done. you know the story hey, don't you jetty Okay, do you want to put the wheels on now? This isn't our first rodeo with a Valco. <laughs> okay. Putting that wheel on? That's the way. Good job. Push it in. Push. Oh, watch out for your finger. Push. There you go. Now you can spin it around. Nice. <laughs> Good job. Yep, so that's all ready to go. And the next thing that I bought for that was a pram liner just to protect the inside because inevitably, even though you might start off saying, I'm never going to give my baby snacks in the pram, you do end up giving your baby snacks in the pram. So the liner just keeps it nice and fresh and clean um i got my last liner from harmony j was really happy with it and have just received our new double one in the mail so i'm gonna open that now and take a look at it if you go on their website they have lots of different um patterns and fabrics to choose from okay so this is the pattern that I went with for the boys, uh, whales and little flowers, sort of a little surfy type thing. So I could have got the, and I just went with navy on the back. I could have gone with two different patterns for the seats, but I, but I decided to just to do the, um, 
the one pattern so that is that um i'll just do a quick walk around with you to show you a couple of things this is so obviously we've using heaps of the same same stuff that we already have for jed this is um the chair that i used for feeding for jed and we've moved that into our room and this is in our room we've cleared out the top two drawers and we're using them for baby's clothes because our third room is currently an office so i've just got all the uh things labeled this is for newborn and then over here is uh zero to three months we're going to be using the change station in jed's room for the baby but when jed's in there napping we also have a little sort of mini change station supplies in here so that we can just pop a disposable change mat on our bed with a towel on top so we can reuse that until it gets you know um weight on it or whatever and just keep it fresh by having a towel on top this by the way is the nappy cream that we've been using for a couple of years with jed it's a natural one and took us a, a little while to find that and we've just um hopped straight onto it for baby number two the other thing I'll show you that we got is um, this beautiful looking curtain. Uh, if, you've, if you're familiar with me and my videos, you know that we are kind of um, fussy about sleep and making the right sleep environment. So um, block out curtains are awesome for just making sure the room is nice and dark through the night and for, through the day for naps. I'm struggling to show you this because of the lighting, but this is just um, some block out fabric that I bought from Spotlight. And then we attached it to the top of the railing with some uh, Vel 3M Velcro, Velcro strips. And then just in the day, I used some pram clips to roll it up. So that's all ready and ready to go. And then this is uh, the bassinet that Jed had that we're obviously just using again. I don't really think there's much else that I have to show you for gear. So I hope that you found this useful if you're, you know, pregnant with your first or whatever. And um, thank you so much for watching. And please hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.